I only passed grade seven in school. The rest where I am now, I have struggled through correspondence, but in prison, with consistency and persistency from my education, the seven standard six then, I obtained my uh, first law degree through correspondence. So it is possible if you are focused and if you have determination to achieve a particular goal. Today I rank with my learned brothers, lawyers are called learned, by the way. I rank shoulder to shoulder with my learned brothers in the field of law. By the way, in the past, educated people had only three careers. And if not in any one of those, you are not learned. You can be educated, but you can only be learned if you are in these three areas. <laughs> one is law. If you have a law degree, you are learned. The other is religion. <laughs> if you do your, your education in religion, then you are learned. Then the third is medicine. So this, in the past, during our time, which is about 80 years ago, these were the people who were considered to be educated. But now I understand even you who do engineering, who do science, are also considered to be educated. I have no quarrel with that. Because I believe that every country that has developed has developed from science. It is science that makes products and services. <laughs> Yet in the past, education was not designed to make us, the black people, be productive and produce products. It was designed for us to save the colonial powers. But this now we, independent African countries, in particular ourselves in the Second Republic, we are now focused on science. We want our boys and girls to have education that produces a product or a service. <laughs> yes, we may have education to pray. I think we can tolerate it, but it hardly produces a, a product by praying. It's good for the belief that there's a life after. I'm not so sure what all of you, most of you will be doing, but I believe that the bias should be towards science. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, the bias should be towards science because then you will uh, produce a service or a product to modernize and industrialize our country. The countries which call themselves the first world say so because they have promoted themselves through science and technology. Yes, of course, we have Papa um, Pognosi. No, Vatican. You see, I You see, I don't dis uh, dissuade you from studying religion or philosophy. But the problem is that you can have a professor in theology or some other literature studying Shakespeare. I see Ukamuti Chibi Kabambera Agun 
Kana ma chips chao. Achizi doctor so 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 and a PhD in religion. Tibi kire mbambaira. Idha agun. So you should not follow that path. You must pursue an education that enhances the quality of life for us. That is, you produce a product or a service to society. Then you are in line with the Second Republic's philosophy where we want our boys and girls to aim to produce products and services for our nation. Secondly, the ED UNSA scholarship is designed to help girls and boys from disadvantaged families. Just because we don't have enough funds, our funding is still very small. Otherwise, we should be having many, many more students under this scholarship fund. And my team, headed by Herbert Nkala here, they tried to select you from the 10 provinces of this country, but from families that are disadvantaged. But they have children who are brilliant, who are bright. And I have full trust in them that they do research and they pick the most disadvantaged persons in the provinces to benefit from this scholarship process. So if you are not disadvantaged and you are one of us here sitting across there, put up your hand. Uh, you are in the wrong place. You, you, are a, you are an advantaged person from a rich family so that we can replace you. No one has put up a hand. So I believe that my team, headed by Herbert here, Nkala, and the ministry, uh, Professor Andrea, they have picked you, recognizing that you have potential. Unfortunately, you do not have the requisite requirements for you to pursue your education. So this is the chance you have been given by the ED UNSA scholarship program. I hope that you not mess it up. You not mess it up. You should focus for what you want to do. You individually said you want what you want to do. I hope that you do so. Because these guys sitting with me are the ones who go about begging to raise the money to support you. Thank you.